Well, thank you all for being here. Um, it has been a difficult time in the city of Kenosha, a devastating time for the community. There have been deaths that are sad. There are situations where we have an officer shooting that is being investigated and has been given to a third party, which is the state of Wisconsin, and they will be the ones who will do the investigation. And then once the investigation is done, it will be turned over to the uh, district attorney's office. What I want to talk to you about, though, today is what's going on. There are a lot of very good people in this community, and what is happening to them is wrong. People have differences of opinion. We have different concepts of how things should be done. Those are all fine, but violence in the community is not acceptable. Violence to property, violence to people, absolutely unacceptable. And it is up to us to make sure that that does not continue. We have called on many groups for support. And one of those I'd like to thank at the moment is um, Mrs. Blake, who came out and said, stop. This is not what her son wanted. And so I want to give a heart thought thank you to her because she cared about the community and what was being done in her son's name. And that is appreciated. But we still have so many things that we have to deal with. And a lot of misunderstanding of what is being done in this community for the safety of the public and the safety of the community. And I want to just kind of walk through a little bit of what occurred after the shooting. The city made the request to the state for support. And Governor Evers granted the guard, the National Guard to come in. We have continually talked with them about the Guard, and the Guard has continued its numbers into the community to help us deal with the looting and violence that has occurred. We also have had the situation where we have called for a curfew, which is 7 o'clock to 7. And that curfew is there to protect the public. We need to make sure people are off the street so the law enforcement can do their job. And I think sometimes people forget that they think that because you call a curfew, it's there to, so you can give tickets to everyone. It is not. It is there to protect the public. And that is so, so very important at this point in time. Kenosha is a community that in the long run will recover. We will work together to resolve our issues. We will work with the minority community to continue to move forward. And we will make this a better place to live. But it will take time. It will take healing. It will make require us to reach out to all parties of the community and actually have honest dialogue. So I'm here today basically to, number one, inform everyone that we are not planning on letting this violence continue. Uh, number two, we are going to work together to resolve the racial issues in our community, and we are going to make that work. The only other thing I'd like to add, which I forgot to say earlier, and I apologize, because now I'm a little off topic. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about the uh, support from Governor Ebers. Governor Ebers has been very supportive to the community, and I think everyone needs to know that. They also need to know that there's this concept that the federal government is not participating in Kenosha. They are. The FBI is here. ATF is here, and the U.S. Marshals are here. So it's important for everyone to know that this has been a, a, a activity where everyone has been involved in trying to make things better. I want to leave you with one last thought. And that is, there is an, uh, an adage that I've always used in all my elections and campaigns, and it's going to sound a little hokey, I suppose. A community is only as strong as its weakest neighborhood. As a country, we are only as strong as the weakest city. We need to make sure that we help create or stop this divide and this anger that is going on in this country. And that only begins with each one of us willing to honestly talk with each other. 